Welcome to the beautiful setting of Eaton Hall, about two miles south of Chester in the county of Cheshire. Not only is this the home to the Duke and Duchess of Westminster, but it's also the host and venue for tonight's gala event in Chester Fashion Week. I'm sitting with Steve Wunkie, Chairman of Chester Fashion. Steve, we're about to kick off on what appears to be a wonderful gala evening. Would you like to tell us a little bit about it? Well, this is the launch event for Chester Fashion. Um, this is the festival that's grown from a one-week event last year to almost two, two weeks of programme. 45 different retailers and, and various fashion houses from all over Chester involved in this event. And we're delighted that the Duke and Duchess of Winchester, uh, Westminster have allowed us to use the facilities here to be able to put on our launch event and, and with Save the Family, we're going to do a lot of good. It's wonderful. How many guests are we expecting tonight? We're, we're a full house tonight. We can take 150 and that's exactly how many we've got coming. Wow. Well, it sounds good. We're looking forward to it. We kick off in what, 45 minutes? Yes, maybe? about that, yeah. So um, I'll better let you go and get on. Thank you very much. I'm sitting here with a very, very dig dignant person in the name of Mrs. Edna Speed, MBE. And thank you so much, Edna, for joining us. I know you're on a very busy schedule tonight. But on the um, Saving the Family, um, you are the founder, am I, am I right? Founder and chairperson. Founder and chairman. How, how, how did that come about, Edna? How did you find such a, such a you know, passionate charity as this? Okay, my profession is teaching. And I was a head teacher in the late state of Chester. And prior to that, I'd been in Blaken. And prior to that, I'd been in a difficult area in Alstomy Port. Come to Caroline in a few <laughs> moments. Let's have a quick talk to Rosa. Rosa, tell us all, all about this event tonight. Okay, so this is um, the Chester Fashion 07. Uh, it's been put on by Stephen Monkey, uh, Mandy, and a, and, a, and a big team. And it's about getting um, the retailers of Chester working with fashion organisations to the benefit of Chester. As a Manchester City fan, you're not going to fool me <laughs> that you're from Manchester. No, I'm not from Manchester. So where are you from originally, just out of interest? Um, I'm originally from Sydney in Australia. How yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Well, uh, visit, Chester visit Chester in Chester is the tourist board for the North West, well, one of the five North West tourist yeah. boards. Caroline, an event like this, it has to have serious implications to tourism in, in Cheshire, doesn't it? It certainly does. It's, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful event to bring the community together, really. It's, it's working with the retailers, it's working with the local community, it's raising money for charity, and it's wonderful for VCC to be involved with the, um, the organising of the events as well. Yeah, I've had the advantage. I've already been and had a look behind those doors there. Oh, you yeah. See, so I've, yeah, and I think those dresses look wonderful but I know, yes, well. yeah well they'd look good on you as well Caroline I'm sure they'd look good on you guys so thank you very much ladies for joining us thank you. Shirley Martin the manager director of Jaeger shop in Chester is that right yes, the tell us a little bit about the shop but more importantly tell us a little bit about tonight's event oh gosh tonight's event's really really exciting it's just going to be fabulous for Chester I mean it's the second year of it going on sitting with me now I have Margaret yeah. Parker leader of Chester City Council and Gerald Tatum also, Chester City Council. We're actually sitting just a few uh, a, a few feet away from the uh, Duchess of Westminster there, yes. um, who is the patron of Saving the Family charity, which is of course the sponsor of tonight's event. Um, And Gerald, can I bring you in for a second? I mean, we're, we're very proud that Chester recently won coaching destination of, uh, of Great Britain. Is it going to start looking now to win fashion destination of Great Britain, I wonder? Peter, I think if you walk down the high streets of Chester, you see the world of fashion. I think people in Chester are really switched on to fashion. Um, the design of clothes, you know, people even get dressed up to go into the supermarket. It's, it's quite extraordinary. And just finally, festivals in Chester generally. I mean, we seem to have things like mystery plays and, you know, and, and fashion week and Christmas week. We have, what, what do they call that, that ceremony just where, where they, the, 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 they dance down the streets at Christmas? What's that called? The Winter Watch. Winter, Winter Watch. Watch. I yeah. mean, this is, I mean, Chester is just vibrant, isn't it, for this sort of... I, I, I think Chester is a stage. Um, we... 
We're very passionate about drama, we're very passionate about theatre, we're very passionate about life generally in the city. And I think there's a big exuberance to celebrate all aspects of the city's life and culture. And I'm sitting here with Ian Orton, the CEO of Save the Family. Is that correct, That's Ian? That's correct, yes. Can you tell us, because we've spoke to a few people tonight about Save the Family, yes. and of course it's a charity that, that is clearly very, very passionate to so many people's hearts. What is it in your heart, Ian? What, what, tell us about Save the Family. Well, I've, I've only been in post for six weeks, my sixth week. Um, I've come from a career in, in banking, 31 years. Um, I knew of the charity through my local church. A lot of our supporters are churches and schools. We have this new property that you've been talking about. Yes. How will that roll out ultimately? I mean, what's your vision as CEO? Right. Uh, you, you're asking me on a timely basis because I've been writing our new strategic plan today. <laughs> so uh, I've so I've, it's all here. fresh in my mind. <laughs> and somebody's obviously told you about it. Um, I think we, we, we are realistic enough, as I said, to say that we can't suddenly expand unless some very kind person in government came along and said, here's 500 million. But even then, it's, it's maintaining ethos. It's not about buildings. You know, we are not a hostel. Are you enjoying your evening? Absolutely. It's been absolutely fantastic. The food, the drink, the fashion, the guys who'd been doing the show, the little guy that was doing the, the absolutely amazing. What about yourself? Are you? Are yeah, it's you... wonderful. The fashion's beautiful and uh, yeah. a wonderful setting. It is a wonderful setting. You know, I couldn't help noticing where I was sat at the far end that there were only about ten guys in this hall tonight. It made me feel a little bit, you know. It, so I'm really pleased to have met you. What, have you noticed that? They're all chauffeurs, the chauffeur. I think. They're all chauffeurs. <laughs> <laughs> He's the chauffeur, so you're the drinker. <laughs> We're at um, Chester Fashion Week, and um, you've come here, you've seen the first half of the show. What do you think? Fabulous. Good, yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, well, is there anything that you have seen that you'd sort of run out and go and buy? Not yet, but there might be. Some nice boots from Peruna, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah. Guys, hi. It's, uh, it's Fashion Week in Chester. You've come to Eaton Hall tonight. Beautiful venue, superb do. Gorgeous evening. Yeah, what do you think of it so far? I think they've done a really good job. It's it's been really done really well. How about you? I haven't been to many fashion shows before, but yeah, first time in one. Seems seems to be going well. It's a bit of a funny, yeah, a bit of a funny question really. When you sort of because I, I couldn't help noticing that there weren't that many men <laughs> in in the venue and. Um, you know, so yeah, but you're you're obviously with your beautiful girl there, so it's a bit difficult for you to comment, isn't it? So you just got to sit there and can't say much, can't say much. Yeah, just keep keep it quiet. <laughs> the third richest man in the country owns this place. He's sitting just in the next room, and his wife, the Duke of uh, Duke of Duchess of Westminster, is just stories all night. Yeah. We've been hearing stories all night. It's just yeah, so much history in the building and that, and yeah, the reindeers on the way in were pretty incredible too. <laughs>